So in your practice, I guess you have a special license for IV sedation. Yes, I do. And you do all types of sedation. Yep. Yeah, we, we offer many kinds of sedation. You know, the, there's all diff one of the most common things we hear when a patient first comes to the office is, I hate the dentist. Okay. You know, and when they say that, we, you know, we, we want them to feel as comfortable as they possibly can. So we can offer th uh, three different kinds of sedation. You know, the first is just somebody that wants to be a little bit relaxed. You know, for, for the most part, they don't mind going to the dentist, but they want to be a little bit relaxed. We can offer them nitrous, um, which is often called laughing gas, yeah. um, which just helps them to feel a little bit relaxed and they can enjoy the appointment. And In fact, you said you love nitrous. I do, even for cleanings. You know, you take the nitrous and you're, it's so relaxing, you're bummed out that your cleaning is over. Yeah. It's, it's true, it's like a day at the spa almost. In fact, you know, recently I had one of my sisters that had never d done, had nitrous before, so I gave her some nitrous and she was like, that was great. You know, it just helped me to relax and feel comfortable doing I always the appointment. say, why doesn't everybody do it this way? <laughs> Hey, that's a good question. I'd like to know that too. If, if, if I go to the dentist, I get a little nervous too, and, and I'd love to have nitrous or, okay. or something to so help the bigger, me relax. Now, what about the bigger procedures? Maybe dental implant uh, surgery or whatever, wisdom teeth. What's the next level up? Yeah, you, so the next level after nitrous would be, you, you could do some oral sedation or some IV sedation. Okay. You know, oral sedation, it's great. Um, you, give, you can give them some oral sedation the night before to just help them relax have a good night's sleep before their dental procedure. Then the next morning, they, they can take some more medicine about an hour before the appointment. They, they definitely have to have someone to bring them to the appointment. Okay. And then it, it just helps them to relax and forget about the appointment. But the another sedation option is IV sedation, which I've spent a lot of you know hours of continuing education and training to, to learn about IV sedation. And IV sedation is great for that really anxious patient that just you know can't get dental work done because of their fear of the dentist and the, the anxiety that they have going to the dental office. What about safety with, uh, with sed IV you know, sedation? IV sedation is probably one of the safest sedation options that we have. And the reason why is because I can titrate the level of sedation that the patient has. You know, I, I monitor the patient. I constantly keep a track of their blood pressure, their heart rate, their oxygen levels. And it's just real, a really safe procedure. And then I can make them really comfortable. If, if and they're not totally under, you know, they're they're still able to. If I say, Randy, uh, open your mouth a little bit wider, they will do they it. They can for do me. that. Okay. They can do that. But then the next day after the IV sedation, they don't remember the procedure. So now, now when you say now the busy person, you're able to do like six months or a year worth of dentistry in one visit. Like a woman maybe has three kids, can't go back and forth. What do you mean by that? You could do six months worth of dentistry in one visit. Uh, you know what I mean by that is we can do a lot of dentistry in a short period of time with sedation because the patient is easier to work on. You know when they're sedated, um, I can I can get a lot done quickly because I'm not worrying about you know the patient feeling pain or uncomfortable. So you can do like four or five hours worth of work where normally you couldn't do it if they weren't sedated. It, is that right? Yeah, definitely, definitely because. You know, I, I can just work quicker because I'm not having to worry about how the patient's reacting to things because they're, they're sedated and they're not feeling pain. Um, it's just a very comfortable procedure for them. Now, a lot of the implant cases that even Dr. Larson does, you're in on the sedation? Yeah, I can, I can definitely do the sedation for anything that Dr. Larson wants to do and so, he can, so he can work more efficiently and quickly also. 